everyone. Welcome to another wonderful Fit Friday. I'm so happy that you tuned in today. I've got a really great total body workout ready to go, um, focusing on a lot of core strength and stabilization today. So as always, let's go ahead, get with our good posture, and we'll get started with a warm up. Okay, here we go. So shoulders go down and back, belly button pulls in towards that spine and lift it up a little bit, sticking that chest out. We're gonna look straight ahead with a big old smile on our face, ready to take on the day. Knees are comfortably apart, stacked over the ankles, trying to make sure your toes and knees are pointed in the same direction. And we're gonna go ahead and start looking side to side. This is gonna stretch out that neck, get it ready to go today. As always, listen to your body. Listen to your doctors. If you know you shouldn't do this or it feels bad, don't do it. Good, look straight ahead. We're gonna lie down and up. Down and up, good. Going at your own pace with each of these exercises today. If something feels like it's too fast or too slow, do what feels right for you. Good, I want you to take those arms and we're gonna make circles. Just as big as feels comfortable, also be mindful of your space. We're gonna do one arm at a time. Switch directions. You make as big of a circle as feels good or as small of a circle as feels good. Good, switch arms, be mindful of your space. I'm gonna twist my body a little bit so I don't hit that table. <laughs> That's the good thing about these workouts is typically as long as you have space to move your body, you can do it. Switch directions. Good. Sitting back up tall, pull that belly button up and in. We're gonna do a spinal twist. Nice and slow to start. Make sure you're breathing through all of these exercises, but especially through these. Try not to hold your breath as we're working those abdominals. You should be able to talk through it. All right, speed that up a little bit. Have your hands out in front of you. Maybe like you're playing a piano or washing a table. One more. Come back to center. Take your hands now and you're going to make fists and you're going to explode the hands out. Like your fingers are trying to jump away from your hands. Warming up through those fingers, through those hands. And we're gonna add in the shoulders, so we're gonna start down low, still throwing those fingers out. We're gonna come up and down. Up and down. Try to think if you have water on your hands and you're trying to flick it at somebody. One more. Good. Shake the shoulders out. We're gonna move on to the hips now. So I want you to step out, out, in, in. Now think about your body here, okay? If this is a little too much, you can do one side at a time. Out and in, out and in. Whatever you need to do, we're just warming up through those hips. If you wanna do one at a time, you can. You can do two at a time though if you'd like. Out, in, out, in. As long as your legs are moving, I'm gonna have a smile on my face. Hopefully there's a matching one on yours. Good, awesome. Kick those feet out, just warming up through those hamstrings a little bit. I think we have, yeah, we have a little bit of a kick in today's workout. I wanna make sure those hamstrings are warm. Good, one foot comes up. If you'd like to sit back on your seat a little bit for this one, you can. We're gonna rotate through those ankles. 
We're adding ankle work to the actual workout today. Switch directions. So we wanna make sure that they're nice and warm. Switch feet. So the other foot comes up and we circle it around. Today we have a lot of combo movements, adding in um, multiple muscles and multiple movements, switch directions, as we do exercises. Always remember you have the option to um, just do one or the other or neither. Or if you have a different exercise for that muscle group, go right ahead and do that. Okay? We're going to get started with the actual work work. <laughs> Maybe your heart rate's already up and you're feeling warm. But let's get started today. We're going to sit out on our chair. And I just need you to have an object. Doesn't have to be heavy. Doesn't have to be a dumbbell. It can just be anything as a visual, okay? If you don't wanna use it, that's fine, but I think having the visual will help you perform the movement a little more effectively. So, you're gonna hold that object out. Holding onto it with one hand, you're gonna open up the arms, squeezing the shoulder blades together, close them, pass it to the other hand. So if you have poor grip, you might choose a smaller option or object, something really light, or no object at all. The big focus here is that you're really focusing on squeezing those shoulder blades together while keeping the shoulders down and back. Of course, with your good posture. <laughs> Give me one more each side. Good. Next exercise, we're gonna have a hinge this next movement, I am gonna combine two exercises. So the first exercise is a hinge. Feet are gonna be a little bit more outward and you're going to hinge at your hips. Right here, we're not arching the spine. We're staying nice and tall, hinging at the hips like we're gonna tap the ground and coming back up. If you had an object, it'd be like you're gonna sit that object down and come back up. Pick it up and come back up. This is movement number one. And that movement alone is fine. If you wanna just do that hinge, you can. But if you like to get some upper arm work, some bicep work, we're gonna add in a bicep curl that looks like this. Always have the option to do one at a time, but you're gonna get double the reps during this time if you do both arms at once. Okay, so this is that bicep curl. Go ahead and give that a try, practice how that feels. Now, to add this to our hinge, we're actually gonna keep our arms on the outside, so our knees might come a little more narrow. You're gonna hinge forward at the hips, keeping a nice, strong spine. Come up, curl, back down. Hinge at the hips, long and tall spine, up, curl. Good. Again, you can always choose one or the other, but if you'd like to sneak in double exercises here, you go ahead. Try to keep the shoulders down and back as you do this. Don't let them hunch forward as we're going down. You want to keep them back. Coming up and curl. Good. One more. Actually, let's do another one for fun. <laughs> Great. Set those um, weights or objects down. Next, we're gonna go back to that warm-up movement that we did, bring the legs out, out, in, in. Again, you always have the option to just do one at a time, but I want you to focus on trying to step out while maintaining the knee and toe pointing the same direction. Might be a little movement, that's okay. Might be a bigger movement for some of you. Maybe one side's a little bit more flexible than the other, that's fine. Coming back in, let's add in some core stabilization. So if that felt a little easy, let's add this in. If it felt like enough work, stay right where you're at. Level two, you're gonna take both legs, you're gonna pop them out and back in. Now, sometimes we do these as cardio, not today. We, I want these nice and controlled, similar to our jumping jack motion. But I want these nice and controlled. Maybe you have a little lean back, Maybe you're sitting up tall. Maybe you're holding on. Whatever you need, but pull that belly button up and in. I can feel my core all fired up right now. 
One more. Good. Next, we are gonna focus on those core muscles. And if you'd like, we're gonna add in a lean. I don't think I've done this in one of the videos yet. We've done the first movement, which is the basic twist, but I don't think I've added the lean in. The big thing here is if you have any lower back pain, maybe you don't wanna do this, okay? Maybe you just wanna stay with the twisting motion. But if you're wanting to work on a little more core stabilization today and it feels good to do so, let's try to add this in. So option one, seated twist. Our basic twist. Option two, I want you to lean back, twist, twist, lean up. Lean back, twist, twist, lean up. Back, twist, twist, and up. Now, we're just slightly hinging back. We're not full on laying down and twisting. It's nice and controlled. Nice and a small movement. Just a tiny hinge, twist, twist, back up. One more. Good. Hopefully that's feeling good. Um, always a goal to work up to adding that back. Eventually you might even try just staying back and doing the twist, but for now we're just gonna add in those mini hinge. Twist, twist, and up, okay? Um, hopefully your core's feeling fired up after that, especially those, those obliques and those deep abdominal muscles that are helping us twist and move. Let's go ahead and we're gonna focus back on our forward hinge without the bicep curl this time. I do want you to have an object though because we're gonna designate this area as one this area as two, and this area as three. Okay, so you just have it split up into three sections. What I want you to do now is you're gonna hinge forward and place it in section one and come back up. Now we're gonna go pick that back up. We're gonna move it to section three. So we're gonna hinge down, nice tall spine, pick it up, hinge down, sit it in section three. Okay, let's go ahead and bring it into section two. Section two is feeling a little lonely. So we're gonna lean down, pick it up. We're hinging at the hips, nice tall spine. If you can't, if you don't have the flexibility to make it all the way down to the ground, just pretend you're sitting it there, that's fine. We're up, let's try a combo. I want you to sit it down in one, come up, three, come up, two, come up, and one. Okay, let me try that. Okay, here we go, we're gonna hinge, pick it up, sit it in that one, up, pick it up, next section, you remember? Three, <laughs> the next one, two, the next one, what was it? One, good. Man, these combos are really fun whenever you have that group feedback. <laughs> I hope that you're talking back at your TV or at your tablet or your phone right now. Um, these are really good for challenging your mind, so we're gonna do a couple more of the combos and then we'll move on to our um, last couple exercises before we're done. Actually, just one more exercise before we're done. Um, so we're gonna try that again. Combo this time is going to be one, two, one, three, two. Can you remember that? <laughs> I already forgot. <laughs> All right, let's try it. One, two, three, one, two. I think that's what I said. <laughs> All right, so we're, don't forget you're coming up in between each one. Here we go. So we're picking it up. The first one's one. What's the next one? Two. Next one. Three. If you want to alternate which hand picks it up, that's fine too. What's the next? One. And I may have messed that up. <laughs> I may have messed up my combos. Um, if you like, you can kind of play that game with your head, make up a combo in your head and see if you remember, because as you can tell, it's challenging my brain as well, trying to remember these. Um, I try to make them up on the spot to give myself a workout as well. Um, but it's kind of a fun way. Hopefully your back's feeling strong. That's working on strengthening those upper back uh, muscles and the muscles along the spine and also working on your core stabilization here. 
We're gonna do one more exercise. That's what I told you, but I overlooked a cardio one because why not? <laughs> so this next exercise is gonna work our shoulders. So we're gonna come down. Okay, so this is your last strength exercise. The next one's gonna be cardio focused, all right? So we're gonna sit up nice and tall. You're gonna have those objects or weights um, down at your side. You're gonna lift up straight ahead and back down and then out to the side. Up, lift them forward, out to the side. I have a slight bend at my elbows. I want you to focus on that. Try not to lock out those arms. You're gonna come up to the side. Let's bring in those ankles, okay? So this is gonna what, be what it looks like. Make sure you can see my feet. Your toes are gonna come up and then your heels are gonna come up. Toes, heels, toes, heels. Good, okay? So we're gonna add that. You can always choose one or the other, but if you're adding it, this is what it looks like. As you lift forward, your toes come up. As you lift to the side, your heels come up. And we keep alternating. If you need to do one arm at a time, that's fine. Maybe you try one foot at a time. <laughs> Talk about challenging the mind and our coordination. But do whatever feels good. Maybe that's just sitting and watching me and smiling at me. <laughs> that's fine too. One more each side. Good. If you were doing them individually, I did another round for you. Good. Sit that down. Last exercise, um, because people really like those little cardio blasts at the end, we're gonna do some seated runs. So, we're gonna do 30 seconds today. Let's take a little, take it a little slow today. Um, if you were hoping for a little bit longer workout today, go ahead and go back to the start of the work work video and do that again. Do it in rounds, maybe two rounds, three rounds, whatever feels good. Um, I am going to start this clock though, and we're going to do some running, and we're going to like it. <laughs> Think about all of the time that you are spending at home right now, 30 seconds. We can do anything for 30 seconds, right? So let's really focus on trying to make this a really good cardio workout before we cool down these last 30 seconds of work. Okay? Ready? Go. So we're running in place. This is too much, you can always slow it down or you can speed it up. These 30 seconds are for you though. What do you need out of it? Would you benefit more from some marching in place? Or do you need to run it out and get those frustrations out? Whoo! Are we almost done? Five, four, three, two, one. How'd it feel? Heart rate up? Do you feel like you did something? Are you sweaty or glistening as some of my um, clients say in class? <laughs> Let's go ahead and start our cool down portion. As a reminder, if you wanna go back through this workout, you can. Um, it works great to do in rounds. So open up that stance. And I want you to just come to a huddle position. Don't lower your head too low right now. Just resting here. Try to press out on the knees. If you've had hip problems, you can just rest it here. If your hips are just fine, let's go ahead and press out. Just a slight press for a stretch. Bring the feet together. We're going to start like we're gonna roll down and come up. Start like you're gonna roll down and come up. So you're arching the back, good. And then hunching over, arch, hunch, arch, hunch. Bring the arms up and back. Be mindful of your surroundings. <laughs> up and forward, round the back. Up and back, open up the chest. Up and in, arching forward. Shaking at those shoulders now. Good. We're gonna go side to side. If you wanna start twisting, side to side, you can. But I want you, remember at the warm up, we started slow and we sped it up. This time I want you to start a little quicker and then ease in 
to a slower stretch. Pick one side and twist. You need to grab the back of your chair, side of your chair, still sitting up tall. And go to the other side. Good, coming back, rotate through the wrists, through the ankles. Good. Awesome, let's get that head, that neck. We're gonna just take ear to elbow, or oh my goodness, ear to shoulder. Roll the head forward, ear to other shoulder. Forward again, and again. And come up. We always end with two deep breaths, okay? So again, this is your time. Think about those fears, frustrations you might have, and just let them out. Okay, I'm sending you good vibes through these inhales. So when you're inhaling, take my good energy. I have plenty, okay? Take it and really throw that into the rest of your day. Okay, so we're gonna inhale up. Take some of that energy. Exhale out. One more. Inhale. Take all my good vibes. Exhale. Down to the ground. Great job, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I tried to incorporate multiple movements and muscle groups into exercises. So if you have a question on form, or if there's a specific exercise or piece of equipment that you'd like to see me use in the future, make sure that you send me an email. Um, our Cardon Conditioning site has that email ready to go, or you can leave it in the comments below, okay? Thank you so much. I'll see you next Friday. Um, have a great weekend.